Getting new tabletop terrain for a brand new game that you're going to be playing can sometimes be a little bit tricky because it's pretty big, there's lots to paint, and if you're going full hog like building a city, then it can take up a lot of time. Now I decided I wanted to try printing off a whole load of different parts of terrain in multicolours and get them onto the tabletop as quick as possible using my Bamboo Lab printers, and we're going to see how that goes. Now, one problem I faced in the past when doing anything like this, for example, printing off something that's in multiple colours on the printer, is it comes off looking pretty glossy straight away. And ultimately, although it looks kind of fun, it also looks very much like a toy. And if you've got other types of terrain already that you've painted and you've primed them and they're all blended and they look quite matte, for example, it'll stand out like a sore thumb. If this is the only thing you've got, it's not necessarily too bad, but you probably want to blend it in with all your painted models. So I figured I would try and see what's the quickest way to get this straight off the printer in its multiple different types of colours and onto the tabletop without standing out and make it look like it actually blends in with the rest of your terrain. So for this video, I'll be using a combination of my Bamboo Lab P1S, but also the brand new Bamboo Lab A1, which I picked up, and that also comes with an AMS system. I just want to quickly stress that I have bought these printers myself. They've not been sent over to me. This isn't a sponsored video. It's just something I wanted to do because I'm doing a lot of Legions Imperialis at the moment, and that involves a lot of terrain, a lot of different types of buildings, a lot of roads, for example, and getting them all painted up individually is taking up quite a lot of time, so I wanted to make this as fast as possible. So first up, I grabbed all the same files that I've been using and I printed off previously and then painted up myself, and then I threw them into my slicers, messed around with the painting mechanics in the Bamboo Studio app, and then I was pretty much good to go. I got all my printers printing off different things. I printed off this airport, for example. I put some red on the top there, some black borders. Most of it is printed off in grey, just with a lot of different colour trim. I did a similar thing on these road pieces as well, because they're kind of simple, in my opinion. They come off, they're basically just grey with a little bit of black in the middle, and then even some white dots in the middle as well. But it obviously it takes some time to get them all painted up, because you're printing off loads of these different pieces. You've then got to go through there and prime them all. You've then got to get some black on there. You've then got to go through and dot all the white bits, and it's just a pain. I also printed off a bunch of these buildings as well. Basically, they're all grey with some whites and coppers and reds and bits like that thrown in there. Now, a quick tip, if you are printing off a lot of these, so for example, I did all four of these buildings in one batch, Get them all going on the same print bed wherever you can, because when you're printing off four of the same thing, as long as they all have the exact same color change and everything else, it only has to do one purge tower, and it has to do one set of purging. It just means it only uses that one set of waste for all four of these different things, or as many of them that you can cram onto the print bed. So once I got them all printed off, they were looking pretty good. And for the most part, like I mentioned at the start of this video, if this is all you've got and you've got no other types of terrain, it doesn't look too bad. I would quite happily throw these down. It definitely beats something like a cereal box or other random things I've got kicking around the house, and it looks pretty good. But it does stand out. If you look at it next to something else that you've already painted, it's just a little bit glossy, shiny, and looks a little bit like a toy. So I figured, why not try and figure out what would make this blend in the fastest? So for this, I decided to try a couple of things. Taking these four videos, I used gloss varnish on one of them, matte varnish on another, I left one of them as is, so that way we've got something to compare it to, and another one I'd used no varnish on. So the matte varnish is this one. I also have some B-roll of all of these as well for you. And I actually really, really like the matte varnish. I think out of all of them, if you wanted the quickest and fastest way of getting these onto the table, it's best just to print them off and then in my opinion use a matte varnish on it. Take some of that shine out of all like the grey surfaces and everything else. You still have a bit of the metallic that's showing through on the copper, but I'd be quite happy just to stick this on the table. Problem with it is you don't get all of those shadows that you would normally get from using a wash and we'll come on to that in the next bit. Moving across onto the two that I used an oil wash with, and surprisingly, the one that had no varnish on it came out the best, at least in my opinion anyway, and that's this one here. And it was really weird, as I was putting the oil wash down onto both of these, it flowed really, really nicely on the one that had no varnish on. Got into all of the cracks, it got in there very nicely, and it didn't stain it as much either. You still got a lot of that nice shine that's coming through on the copper, but it is a bit darker. However, if I wanted to, I could go back in there and do a little bit of cleanup. But I'm really impressed with the one that just came off the printer and then got an oil wash. With the gloss varnish, less impressed with that. Now, I did leave the gloss varnish for the full 24 hours to make sure it's set and cured, and then I put the oil wash on there. And it's weird, it's stained a lot more, and I expected it to run a lot better on this one and stick a lot better on this one as well, because with the one that just came off the printer, there's nothing for the oil wash to adhere to. But in this, it's just kind of odd. There's a lot more stainage, a lot more areas that will need a clean up as well, but it's not bad. And then, of course, we've got the standard one as well. But in my opinion, it looks pretty good to go, but it does need a little bit more work. So is it possible to print off terrain in multiple colours and then get it onto the gaming table? 
And in my opinion, of course it is. It's just simple. It all depends on what you expect from it. These roads look awesome, or the airport, the buildings, and everything else. It's really easy to put together. It takes a lot longer to print off than just printing them in one color. However, I think it's worth it. It just means that doing things like these roads makes it so much simpler, so much faster, and it means I don't have to paint up loads of things. The fastest way is using a matte varnish over the top of it just to remove some like glossy shine from it. Helps it to blend in with the rest of your terrain and everything else there. But if you want to have some shadows and bits like that on them, I'd recommend just using a wash straight over these with no varnish. And that, in my opinion, comes out the best. So there you have it. If you're looking to get some terrain onto the tabletop relatively hassle free, then this is a pretty easy and convenient way to do that. Takes a little bit longer than the standard prints, but in my opinion, it's worth it in the end. With just a tiny little bit of work afterwards, you can make them look even better than when they come off the printer straight away, and then you're good to go. So for something like Legion's Imperialis, that has loads and loads of road systems and loads of buildings, this is definitely going to take a lot of the stress out for me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Which one of these do you prefer? With a little bit of work and just tidy up on those oil washed ones, I think I can get them looking really nice. And again, it would have so little involvement from me, it just makes it so much more convenient. Also, if you've got any other tips and tricks to share about using multicolor printing and other bits like that, or just getting terrain done really, really quickly to a good standard, throw them down in the comments below. I'm sure the community would love to know. Thanks for watching, and in the meantime, stay safe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.